Hello everybody. Two videos ago, or four days ago, um, I was in this tunnel and the, the video was, it's got to go. I knew this tunnel had to go because it's, it's broken all around and I think probably one more winter wind and it'll completely disintegrate. Um, and actually, I told a little porky pie, I already knew then that I had a new tunnel coming and I've now got that new tunnel and we'll go and have a look at the, some of the stuff in a minute it's, it's in the big tunnel at the moment um, but yeah so this has all got to come down this frame is going to be reused and shortened slightly and used as a brassica frame but this tunnel has got to come down as I say and I'm hoping to start the build within within two weeks hopefully I've got a lot of clearing to do around it just to make access a little bit easier uh, for the build itself because I've got holes to dig for foundation tubes and stuff like that so it, if the area around it's clear then it's much better I've already done down this side and this end I've just got this to do so hopefully we'll get it started very soon <laughs> so this tunnel is from first tunnels direct it's just very slightly bigger than the other one. Six inches on the length longer, six inches on the width. So it's a full 20 foot by 10 foot wide. And a couple of boxes as part of it, some anti-hotspot tape, the polythene. Moving on to all the foundation tubes and the anchor plates. These things here are sliding door kits because yes, this has got sliding doors as opposed to my normal, what I normally use, hinged doors. In uh, this sack here is all the fixtures and fittings, screws, nuts, bolts, even bolts to hold the door in place. And then there is this gigantic pile of the timber and metal work for the tunnel. It's a base rail option. Normally, I, on all my tunnels previously, I've trenched the plastic in. But on this one, after discussing it with first tunnels, we've decided to go with the base rail option and then we move on to this over here which is a full packing list that so you can check you've received everything i don't doubt that everything's there because everything all the packages as you can see here are very well sealed up an instruction booklet in there i'll come back to that in a minute and this a polytunnel lucky bag i'll just set the camera up and we'll go through this so what is a polytunnel lucky bag? This is something the first tunnels insert or send off with every tunnel that's bought. And I think it's a lovely little touch. You don't see companies doing this sort of thing anymore. Um, and you get a couple of books. I don't even know what they are yet. I haven't looked that far. So I've got two first tunnels books, grow food in your polytunnel all year and grow all year polytunnel handbook so they're essential and useful reading especially if you're a first time tunnel purchaser um, I mean I've been growing in tunnels for years but I very much doubt that there's not something in there that I would learn I guarantee I would and also in here there's a nice a year in your polytunnel calendar oh that's that's good they haven't actually put the days of the week on each calendar so you can use this year on year and it's got things like in April for sowing and growing harvests tips for that month that is brilliant I like that that's a good idea then there is a polytunnel growing guide you can download this stuff online but that's just a nice little touch just to pop that in into the lucky bag and I've seen one of these before I know what this is this is a, a crop wheel so you move this thing around and I'll just bend it so you can see it you can see the little holes in here these refer to the crop as it comes around you it refers to the crop and it'll show you the planting distances the sowing dates the amount of seeds per inch if you like that so all that sort of incident and even there I've just noticed the best type of soil I mean that's a lovely little addition it's all the stuff to get you growing and to add to that I knew this was going to be in here because I've seen it on a, another video packet of tomato seeds 
just to get you going and that is money maker but good start everything there to get you going and this final touch is i thought well it's as cheap as chips but what a brilliant idea and it's the first tunnels tea bag and the idea is you make yourself a cup of tea and i said i'd come back to the manual the idea is you make yourself a cup of tea and you sit down and read the manual with your cup of tea through read through it first before you start to put it up isn't that a wonderful touch you could have put half a bottle of gin in <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, and then the polytunnel will have bent round the corner by the time I've got that up after reading them instructions. But I just think that's a lovely little touch. They, they don't need to do that, but what a wonderful thing to do. So it's very concise. Everything is there that you need to get that tunnel up. Um, I will mostly get most of this up myself, all on my own, because I've done this many times now. I'm on somewhere around 11 or 12 polytunnels I've... I've either put up myself or been involved in. Uh, so most of this I will know already and be able to crack on with. The bit I will get help with is with the polytunnel cover itself, put, putting the cover over, sheeting the tunnel, as they say. That's always good to have an extra pair of hands. But if you've never done it yourself before, an extra pair of hands or two is always helpful. But just make sure right at the start of the job that people are not going off on their own thing doing their own thing and that they're actually following your directions that's most important because you can end up with one hole digger uh, deeper than the other so you've just got to watch these things and ensure that the build goes really well and efficiently there we go very very pleased with that i know tell your face <laughs> So you can see the tunnel location behind me, just just here. Um, all these these well, these two beds, the companion planting beds that went a little bit wrong, but were lovely. They've all got to be cleared. All these tubs have got to be moved out of the way, and a little bit more tidying up around the tunnel itself before I start putting it up. And all that um, old cover's got to be taken off. All the old batten in, all the beds that were in there, all that timber's got to be taken off and then the frame moved which is part of the reason why all this has got to come off because the frame is going to come this way in one piece over onto the beds over there so it's going to be a little while before um, I can get this this tunnel started and I will produce um, probably two or three videos of the tunnel going up and that's part of the deal with uh, First Tunnels. Um, I did contact them and I did cheekily ask if they would care to sponsor me. And they've happily, for me, agreed to do that. So I said I would produce uh, build videos highlighting that the tunnel was from First Tunnels, which is fair enough. Um, and then moving forward, it's going to feature in a lot of my videos moving forward because essentially my plot is all about my three tunnels and i want to keep it that way i want to show what i'm doing in them so um yeah as I, said, I expect there'll be two or three build videos and then moving forward it will feature i really would like to say a massive thank you to the all of the staff of first tunnels it's been marvelous what you've done for me and it's really really made my day i know tell your face <laughs> but i'm i'm over the moon <laughs> so there's a lot for me to do but i am hoping that this tunnel will start going up with inside of two weeks hopefully a week we'll see i've got some major decorating to do at home as well so we'll see how that sits with their uh, family life shall we say but that's it for today Thanks again to First Tunnels. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Please take care, stay safe. See you all very, very soon. Toronto.